Well, hello there, humans, bees, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel. Today marks really the proper beginning of 2020 uh, for me as a content creator on World of Tanks Blitz because I've just been on a bloody month long lollygag and holiday around the joint. To kick it off, we're going to have a real hard look at the WZ111 5 e something, 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 something big doggity dog. Uh, this is going to be a comparison shop. We're going to talk about the tanks that I find similar to this and kind of that this tank is descended from. I'm going to talk about how it works, why it works. We're going to have a little touch on the crate topic just because like every time I do one of these videos, someone will pop on and say, you're a wanker for doing crate tank reviews and someone else will pop on and say, this tank isn't good enough to be in a crate and someone else will pop on and say, tier 10 tanks shouldn't be available in crates. And I'll say, all that's probably true to some degree, but the tanks in the game... So I'm going to review it <laughs> so you know what the hell is going on with the tank if you come up against it. And if you're lucky enough to get it in a crate, then this is how you should drive it. And uh, if you don't like it, well, there's lots of other YouTube channels you can go and watch for free down the road. The, um, the tank itself to me feels like a descendant of two particular vehicles. One is the IS-3, the other is the IS-8, uh, which is particularly obvious when you look at the pike nose and the top end speed it gets up to 50 kilometers an hour just like the is8 does it's actually the second chinese tier 10 heavy tank we have in the game uh, and the big difference between this and say an is8 anyway is that it has seven degrees of gun depression but as you can see in this clip seven degrees isn't really enough to make a gun depression tank stand out it needs nine degrees or eight degrees at least like a t110e5 to really make that work and it's dpm though is balanced on it kind of having that kind of gun depression so it's not an overwhelmingly strong tank but it's a tank that can do very well the way to do this is to use it as a semi knife fighter brawler against medium and light tanks, which is where it really is like the IS-8. Now, I'm going to show you the armor profile. We're going to have a little talk about that. I'm going to show you some other passages of play, which I think are particularly interesting. Um, I would drive that tank there, the IS-4, before I drove this tank. But I drive the IS-4 before I drove a lot of things. That doesn't mean it's a bad tank. What I think it suffers from is that being a crate tank, a lot of people expect it just to be overpowered, like a type 22 medium or something along those lines and it's just not the case it isn't that kind of a tank it is very much a tank that i think is where a good premium tank should be it's usable uh, it requires a bit of a brain to make it work and that's how it is now the tank itself if you look at it right there it looks a lot like an is3 it's a pike nose it's low slung it's got those two hatches on top and the side armor is actually quite good you've got some spaced armor on the side you've got 30 millimeters of spaced armor there and 80 millimeters of flat armor underneath but it actually ends up being like 350 millimeters because of the slope if you hit it up there just under the chassis and then you've got to go through the spaced armor as well so it's a tough one to beat uh you are a low slung tank though so if you are side scraping this tank beware of good players with big td guns who will splash the deck very very comfortably or even just shoot at your capolas because your capolas are actually pretty bloody weak the pike knows like all brawlers if you're using heat against it like it's just going to fall to bits you're going to get up to 290 300 millimeters flat out pointing at you but that's just not enough where the tank works well is in this kind of role you can see i'm holding the flank um most of the team has gone town but they've got two mediums and our light tank went to the middle of town as well and i'm like that's just not going to work someone's going to stop these guys from coming around the flanks and that someone is me the reason that this works well it's the same kind of role an is8 fulfills is that seven degrees of gun depression is enough to be a pure tank but 50 kilometers an hour uh, a, a pure hull down tank but 50 kilometers an hour is enough to get you out to the flanks very quickly and let you meddle with these guys who don't have the kind of armor profile uh and don't have the kind of hit point pool that you'd like to have when you're dealing with a tank this size you've got to be careful though because mediums and lights these days they can really screw you up these guys have in excess of 3000 dpm for the most part or big derpy alpha guns like the t9 and t10 american light tanks you've got about two and a half thousand dpm which is not great in fact you've got the same kind of dpm as an is8 uh, 
but if you keep using the terrain, you'll see in all these clips, I'm hiding the tank behind the terrain. And if you use that low slung armor profile, you can be very, very difficult to tear apart. Uh, particularly in the next clip, uh, the next game, I'm gonna show you something that, that really does ring true with this on Rockfield, where Rockfield is got a heavy route where it's very easy to slip under the guns, but a big heavy uh, exposes himself quite often as he crosses or she crosses uh, various lines of fire and mediums will farm that up. That's not the case with this tank. It's very hard to hit this tank in those small divots in the ground. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. You also have a 130 millimeter gun. Now, what does that mean in actuality? It means that you have a gun that is capable of doing 460 alpha, which is that extra little bit of, oh God, I hate those tanks. Yeah, just stick your missiles in your date. The worst idea ever. Um, and despite my, you know, you can have all the armor you want in the world. Um, for a reasonable tank, but this tier nine tank is going to come across here with heat and just go straight through. Like, yeah, righto, whatever. <laughs> like, just a joke. What a joke. Here's what I'm talking about. Low slung. Look at these firing lines as we come up. It's very hard to hit this tank. Um, mediums will often go to that right side there, but you are right below. Now, I don't have the ability to get this seven degrees of gun depression down, but I can be fast enough to this heavy line because I can get so far out and I've, you know, that I can spot here and be pretty comfortable that they're not going to be able to shoot me and get good solid damage. Now they might HE me, but look at that. They're, this is where this tank can be very, very, very good. This is really screwing with their TDs that want to just camp here and shoot people as they cross over. I am very comfortable here. You know, I'm picking up a little bit of assisted damage. Uh, and then when the time comes to move forward, I'm in a heavy tank that can go very, very quickly. And there doesn't appear to be any heavy tanks in front of me. So the worst thing they're going to have to do is deal with a couple of uh, TDs and I'm going to be hulled down. Um, so off we go into the wild blue yonder. We bust open the uh, engine boost. We absolutely fang across here. We're doing 50 kilometers an hour in absolutely no time. And we're the tip of the spear. Now this is where like, I don't know, seriously, uh, is that is that legit? There's a, a big bounce from the, the grill. Like the IS-3, you're a, a bit of a knife fighter in these situations. I swear to God, I, I hit the grill's gun. <laughs> Everyone does. It's such a torturous thing. If you use an auto aim, you can end up hitting the grill's gun and just, you're gonna hate life. <laughs> That's how it is. And this is where the tank excels. This is what you wanna be doing with it. You wanna use the mobility, the straight line drive. Is it better than the 113? I don't think it's even close to as good as the 113. 113 has better mobility, slightly less traverse, but this is not a knife fighter in a turn fighter. This is a, this is a stick it in their face and brawl kind of tank. Stay below these slight inclines and, and use your 460 alpha. The 113 has like 3, 1,200 DPM. It, it's a monster like that. Uh, this is not that tank, but is it a good tank? Yeah, it's great. It's good fun. Um, is it worth buying crates for? That's up to you. That's a decision you have to make uh, for yourself. Personally, I think this is the happy medium where crate tanks should be. You get a tier 10 tank, it's competitive, it's not overpowered, and a good player will be able to take advantage of the the mores of the tank and come away a winner. Like this kind of position here is exactly where the tank was built for, where you, you're keeping it just, because the turret is so far forward, you're keeping it just out of the line of sight until you got the shot, then you push forward. If you can get a little bit of gun depression down, like I am using there, that's seven degrees of gun depression, then that makes your armor profile very, very strong. All in all, a fun tank to use. And because you've got that, uh, because you have a, a big bloody um, gun that is 130 millimeters and 460 alpha, not the 120 millimeter gun, uh, you get to do things like this, which is max roll for 750 on HE. That is something that should not be ignored. In fact, the high explosive damage and the high explosive gun on the tank um, is a real positive and something that I really probably haven't talked enough about. Uh, only 65 HE pen, but 
you know, a 600 average alpha roll is good. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Hope you're looking forward to more to come. And until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.